if there is a most apt time for you to take a decision it is during the mercury transits and you better take the decisions right because sometimes these decisions can come to haunt you and these are the decisions during mercury transit which may go make you go either this or even this Hello, Namaskar and Adab to all my friends from your friend astrologer and guide Irfan once more with you from your very own channel Astro Assurance. When we have to take important decisions in our lives, those decisions which may change the trajectory of our lives, change what are the opportunities which may be lying ahead of us, change how we look at life from now on or even change the entire force that we have in the life, the dissemination that we have in life, where we may end up in life, then the mercury transits play a very, very important role. Sometimes they even overshadow the Dasha Antar Dasha period and even to some extent the other transits. Because mercury is a buddhi, mercury is an intellect, mercury is the capacity to take analytical decisions and mercury is the only planet which gets exalted in its own sign. So, today Mercury has entered its own exaltation sign of Virgo. So, this is one of the most important times for you to take your decisions, to make your decisions and even to make or mar your life. So, please pay a lot of attention to how when Mercury transiting over different planets in your horoscope, what kind of results it may give you, what kind of possibilities it may create for you and how if you don't take the right decision, these decisions may come back to even haunt you also. So let's jump into and see how Mercury's transit over different planets in your horoscope may throw up different manifestations for you. Now when Mercury is transiting over your natal position of Sun, so wherever Sun is placed in your horoscope when Mercury transits over it. Now what does it do? On one hand, Mercury will activate and also give some of its logical, practical denotations to Sun, Sun's characteristics of authority, of leadership and also the ability to take ownership in certain situations. But at the same time, Mercury will also activate the specific place or the house that Sun is placed in your horoscope, it will activate those houses also connected to important decision that you need to take around that house. So firstly, when Mercury is transiting over Sun, it will create, create the intellectual capacity to take decisions while being accountable, while being responsible and in a leadership role. However, this is a place where the person will think, should I really take the decision or not? Rather than taking ownership, taking accountability when the boss seems to be giving you a chance to take up a role, to a chance to take up a project, a chance to lead a project, to lead a team. When Mercury is going over Sun in transit, this person may not mind even letting go of that opportunity also, if the person feels it is not going to serve him in the long run, which means this person will put his intellectual capacity to best use. Also, because Sun is also your pride, your ego, your self-respect for some, so there is a thin line between taking an analytical decision or taking a decision completely out of pride. So Mercury will prevent you, especially if Mercury is transiting over Sun, that it will prevent you from taking a decision over too much of pride. Unless there are a number of other planetary entities also involved, Mercury will make you think through and take a practical decision rather than thinking about what about me, this person is not doing this to me, your boss is not thinking about me, now they think about me. So Mercury will avoid those pitfalls. Secondly, Mercury is also your communication skill and Sun is also your need to take control, the need to be authoritative. So here, when Mercury is transiting over Sun, your communication skills will also kick in. So rather than being too authoritative, when you are asking somebody to do something or asking something to be done, here you will also use your tact, you will also use your flair for good communication and you will try and get the person to agree through your influential skills, through your communication skills rather than being forceful. So when Mercury is transiting over Sun, sometimes the ability to be able to take analytical decisions 
thought through but with tact may help you to be able to push away the aggressiveness that say for example sun will bring in because of its need to show authority and because sun is also your conscience so your mercury may also activate your conscience to take the right decision because sun is also your soul so the soul will manifest when mercury is going over your sun you may also take those decisions which also soulful which will also serve the soul so if it's the right opportunity for you it's the right time for you so then you should be able to take the right decision especially when mercury is transiting over sun now be careful which house it is transiting because those act areas will also get activated so if for example mercury is transiting over your second house especially say for example for leo ascendant natives mercury has just entered virgo then your second house of income your earnings your salary your remuneration will also kick in while going over sun so yeah your remuneration may come in with more authority maybe time for growth also for some people so wherever whichever house mercury is transiting over sun be careful take thought through decision analytical decision keep that aggression away and help it serve you now when mercury is transiting over its natal position which means wherever mercury is in your horoscope mercury is transiting over that so here the double impact the double whammy of mercury is thrown in which means this person is more careful of his decision making more careful of their communication more careful what they say what they don't say so if mercury is well placed in your horoscope and mercury is now transiting over your natal position of mercury it's a fantastic placement and this is also in some ways you can call it a mercury return placement which may happen once a year so this is a good time for you to also think back on the decisions taking through the year so for example if you have taken a decision about a property so you may think and realize that maybe this decision was wrong or this decision was right or you may think about did i take a right decision did i make the right investment if you have been with somebody for almost a year you may think it's been a year since i've been with this person have i made the right decision is this person right for me and if you have not made the decision yet you may take go forward and take the decision so when mercury is transiting over its natal position it will be a very very good time for you to take thought through analytical balanced decision also especially connected to career service because mercury also rules the sixth house of service in the which is a natural rulership in the kal purush kundli and mercury also rules the third house of communication so communication and service will kick in apart from whichever house bases your zodiac mercury rules in your horoscope they will also kick in so accordingly you are in the right position to be able to right take to take the right decision because mercury is going over its natal position so very very analytical very very tactful decision making very thought through decision very intellectual decisions some of you may also think about joining some educational qualifications taking educational qualifications further some of you may think about making an investment some of you may also think about changing your career or joining a new project also so whatever it is this is a good time when mercury goes over mercury to think through to take balanced decisions and then act accordingly because this could be the most analytical decision that you take ever now when mercury is transiting over natal position of venus over wherever venus is placed in your horoscope if mercury is transiting over venus so this is a very good time for you to think through about your romantic life your conjugal life your life to get through in a stable relationship or maybe even get together with somebody so this is a time when you will be more analytic analytical and you will think and will take a practical decision does it really serve me will this help me is this relationship good for me if you have already been in a relationship so far you will think through about the about the relationship if you have been dating then you may think in number of factors including your conjugal life are you happy in the intimacy are you happy with the kind of person that you are are you happy with the looks of the person so you may look at it from a different factors you may also look at the money that is coming in the income that you are generating because venus is also about your income but you will overall look at the quality of life that you have led so far so you will be looking at your life through a number of prisms for example you will think through what have i done so far what is the quality of life that i have led so far have i been alone have i been with somebody but not too happy am i working in the right say project or organization should i do something different should i do business 
because mercury is about money venus is about your financial situation some of you may think about making an investment long term investment to also secure yourself financially but whatever it is from now on you want your life to be good so your the decision that you make will be okay from now on i want to be happy from now on i want to take the right decisions am i taking the right decision and you will move in that direction however be careful of what relationship you are getting into because when mercury goes over venus sometimes you tend to be too practical too analytical you try to pick too many holes in your conjugal life in your romantic life or with your partner or maybe even your financial situation so rather than be over analytical sometimes it's also be best to look at it with both the venus prism as well as the mercury prism so if you are truly to be happy and if you think a decision is right for you you should go and you should take a leap of faith rather than holding yourself back now when mercury is going over the natal position of moon now here two different energies are coming to clash one because mercury uses the mind the intellectual capacity the capacity of being logical practical but what is your moon moon is not so practical moon is your emotions moon is your attachments moon is where your mind is focused on where your mind is moving towards and moon is also a capacity to understand empathize so when mercury goes over your natal position of moon here you will look at a number of factors in your life you will look at for example have you got the reciprocation of your love and affection so you will say that okay so far i have given a lot in my relationship i have been very loving very caring very nourishing very empathetic very understanding but am i getting the response from my partner am i also being served am i being listened to there is there empathy in the relationship i put in a lot of effort to understand the person even from the other person's perspective because the person though he or she doesn't make sense to me but is the other person also putting in the effort to understand me are you on the right track and the person may also think that is this the right time for me to take a decision to settle in a domestic life because moon is also the ruler of cancer sign the ruler of the fourth house in the natural rulership of moon in the kalpurush kundli so yeah if the person has to take a decision to settle into a relationship then the person will also think through should i establish my domestic home now or should i buy a house now or should i take a decision about the house now so for example if the person has put off a decision so far about taking a property buying a property buying some assets or investing in an asset so this is the time the person will think through whether i should do this now secondly the person may also think through about how whether they have been peaceful in their life whether there is tranquility in their life whether there is harmony in their life and whether they feel cherished desired cared for also if not then they will think whether they should continue whatever they are doing whatever relationship they are in or whatever job they are in if they feel the job is not giving them peace it's too anxiety prone it's too frustrating then they may take a decision even in that regard and when mercury goes over moon this is also a time of very good creativity so some people who have been thinking should i do this or that in terms of the artistic and there was in the artistic performances here there may be a light bulb moment that i think okay i need to do this i need to make this decision or i need to create this in my dancing performance or i need to play this particular piece of music so yeah they will also be very creative very innovative but they are perfectionists so they will bring all everything together to be able to do a very very good performance so this is the decision making time for them where their artistic endeavors are also concerned as well as for businesses especially in creative endeavors where moon's caring attitude nourishing say for example the food industry is concerned or hospitality industry is concerned here the person will put their best foot forward and take a decision to take forward that business oriented decision or even a technological oriented decision where somebody may come up with a breakthrough technology because moon is about finesse and technology high cutting precision oriented technology so somebody is a technological field technical field this is also good time for you to take decision especially where your job is concerned your projects are concerned or leap forward your career is concerned now when mercury goes over the natal position of mars what is mars mars is the general the capacity to fight for what you believe in for what your goals are so for what you want to attain for what you are interested in 
for where your focus is lying so you want to acquire that you want to be able to achieve that so wherever your mars is placed mercury will activate that and you will think that so far whatever have you done have you achieved your goals have you been successful have you been able to do that which you sought out to do what you wanted to conquer if you feel that while you're being analytical because mercury is going over mars you feel that you have not got the fruits of your goal so far the fruits of your labor so far then you will think twice should i continue to do this because i don't seem to be achieving my goals and i don't even seem to be on the trajectory where i can seem to be getting my goals should i continue this effort it may so happen that if you feel that your goals are not being met then you let go of that decision also you may let go of a relationship you may let go of a work you may let go of a partnership you may let go of a project also however what happens when mercury goes over mars is sometimes you are too fast into taking that decision without thinking through all the pros and cons especially because mars is very temperamental sometimes you may take a temperamental decision rather than a cool headed decision so if you are a somebody who is usually very practical somebody who is very logical somebody who is very thought through then using the energy of mars you, you can take a leap of faith but on the other hand if you are somebody who has been been making stupid decision most of your decisions seem to go south most of, most of your decisions seem to run into rough weather, rough weather then when mercury goes over mars be real careful because you will be more analytical also so it's a good thing to be analytical rather than rush into things so it's a good time to take a back seat to slow down to relook at your goals to relook at the trajectory you're doing or going on before you take a decision and because mercury is also your communication skills it is also about being perfectionist it's also about critiquing sometimes mercury combined with mars so sometimes you may unnecessarily critique a project may unnecessarily critique a partner or some proposal which has come your way you will find loops holes in that unnecessarily and drop it because of your ability to critique complain and mars being the ability to enhance the energy combined with mercury so if mercury is going over mars be real careful not to take decision in a temperamental fit but really be cool headed because this can later on make you think twice whether it was the right decision that you took now when mercury goes over the natal position of jupiter in your horoscope jupiter is your wisdom jupiter is expansion jupiter is prosperity jupiter is abundance jupiter is your high learning experiential learning your faith your belief the long distance travel number of things that jupiter represents so when mercury goes over your natal position of jupiter mercury activates all these area and makes you think makes you ask a question whatever decision you have taken so far say for example women can question their decision of marrying somebody or being with somebody men can think about whether they are, have done the right education qualification or they have been able to use the education qualification or should they add some other high learning higher certification even women may think but women may also bring in their spouse into the act about whether they need to be able to continue that decision or you they need to rethink so mercury going over jupiter will also make you more analytical about your wisdom so for example you may think i took this decision thinking it is wise but has it been wise has it served me i took up this education qualification has it served me or should i do more or should i do something else or should i drop this education qualification and do something else so students may think through secondly that did this education qualification serve me i've done about a year in this if not it's the right time for me to drop this and maybe take up something else or this education qualification may be good but should i and add something on to it or is this still current so they will think through analytically about what they have been doing so far in the education qualification and they'll think through whether it will serve them some of them may also take a decision to travel if they need to take a higher learning higher qualification also some people may question their faith and belief so far so say for example if you have been believing in something your faith in something you will ask is this the right thing for me am i believing the right people am i believing in the right project am i believing in the right process am i believing in the right trajectory that i have taken so far or is it that i have been misled is this the right time for me to be able to rethink about the decisions i have taken so far
and because mercury is also going over the planet of expansion this will expand your ability to take more analytical decision more tactful decision more clever decision more educational decision so mercury is about taking a decision based on collecting data jupiter is about learning so this gives you an added capacity to take better decision than when mercury goes over any other planet so if mercury is going over your jupiter it's a time for expansion it is a time to be able to take a leap of faith use this decision to leap towards better prospect and better abundance as well now when mercury is going over your natal position of saturn saturn is your dedication your commitment your loyalty your career your karma your distress your challenges also your obstacles also however it is also the time to slow down saturn is a slow moving planet so when mercury goes over saturn mercury also takes a back seat and thinks through that especially if you're in basis your career has my career served me am i growing fast enough i didn't get a promotion last two years three years this is the right time for me to either continue in the job ask for a promotion or maybe change my career change my job because it is not serving me so wherever you are basis your career based on your business based on your earning capacity this is the right time for you to think through whether this has served you so far and because mercury is also about being very analytical but also logical you will also think through that have you been organized have you worked hard enough have you been very structured in your approach or in spite of being organized thought through structured dedicated committed yet you have not been able to get the fruits of your labor so is it the right time for you to change or to be able to do something else or to continue in that job so yeah you may get into a questioning mode about authority figures questioning mode about your career and sometimes even questioning mode about your karma itself in general whatever actions you have taken in your life this is also a time because mercury is going with saturn saturn denotes a number of learning opportunities for you have you learned the lesson that the karma wants to teach you so this is also a time for you to think through and decide whether the right decisions have been taken so far or you need to change so sometimes it can also make you question your loyalty in a person rather than just in a career or your loyalty to a project loyalty to a friend loyalty towards its thinking loyalty towards trust that you have shown in something and based on that then you will take a decision forward and because mercury is also going over saturn means also looking at social causes you will also think through should i dedicate something or dedicate some time to some social causes it will also make you remember that there are people who are under distress in distress who probably require your help and sometimes you may refocus your energy towards that also or this is the right time for you to refocus your energy towards helping a coworker helping a team member especially if that opportunity comes your way so when mercury goes over saturn there will be some way in some place that somebody may come forward to ask you for help ask you for support even ask you for some favor now when mercury goes over your natal position of rahu now these two extremely intellectual cap- capabilities are coming together mercury is your logic your practicality your ability to take intellectual decisions rahu is your explosive intellect tactful diplomatic even manipulative in, in intellect and prone with a lot of hunger with a lot of passion what with a lot of energy to be to get at any cost what you want so when mercury is going over rahu it makes you think i have been working very hard should i continue to work so hard am i getting the fruits of my labor whatever i'm doing responsibility or should i take it more easy my boss is not ready to give me that project my boss is not ready to give me that growth my boss is not ready to give me an increment why should i work so hard so you may think through and you may think through what are the clever ways for me to avoid this project clever ways for me not to do this and get away with it or you may think through that okay let me go and negotiate with my boss that boss i have worked so hard i have not been able to get the fruits of my labor what do you think do you think that it's time for me to move up or it's time for me to move on so be careful when mercury is going over rahu because sometimes you can come across as too manipulative in your communication because the rahu may mislead you into taking those decisions which you may regret later so be careful but this is also very good time for you to come out come out with some breakthrough ideas rahu is breakthrough energy rahu is also something 
change making that you can bring so many times when mercury goes over rahu it can be a light bulb moment for you oh this will work better for me this will work better for the project this will work better in the relationship this will work better in the proposal that i need to do or this may work better when i need to propose to somebody so yeah it will make you it will help you to be more creative very innovative think out of the box and to be able to get what you want and through diplomacy and sometimes you may also be able to use your tact to be able to get to your advantage rather than for somebody else so usually this is also good time for you to score over others because mercury going over rahu mercury also has the sixth house energies of competition so here you may become very tactful and be able to even counter the competition counter those people who have been at your back especially those people who have been in mickle to you so this is the time for you to give back score over them score over your competition but because rahu also brings in sudden ups and downs be careful what decision that you make because this can either give you a good opportunity to elevate yourself for a sudden elevation using that energy to take a leap forward or this can also make you take a decision for example negotiating with your boss and it falling flat and boss saying no i don't mind if you want to move on move on if you want to put in your papers pay, put in your papers i don't mind i'll backfill if you think you're not happy here you can go so it may also backfire so be careful not to allow rahu to mislead you to take a wrong logical decision rather than something which serves you and because rahu is also the karma of this life so you may also think through that am i on the right track am i doing the right thing some of you may even think what is the purpose of my life is this what i am supposed to do or should i do something else is it really serving me is money everything or i have not given time to my family i have not given time to my love life to my romantic life should i also dedicate some time there so it may also make you think about life itself about getting the most out of your life rather than just chasing one thing either only materialism or or only your job or only your relationship so this will give you a holistic approach to life because you want the most out of life if mercury is going over well placed rahu make the most of it because this is the best time for you to take a decision which will serve all the corners of your life now when mercury goes over the natal position of ketu what is ketu ketu is denial ketu is detachment ketu is giving up ketu is procrastination ketu is about being lazy ketu is not wanting to do anything ketu is being completely uninterested detached being that done there so what when mercury goes over ketu you think that have i done the right thing or have i been too lazy have i procrastinated too much or if you have been working very hard and now mercury is going over ketu you may feel that okay i have worked so hard but has it served me let me take some time off let me relax uh, i have worked too hard on a project let me go for a holiday let me take a break let me take a break from my work so sometimes you may get detached from what you are doing now in the current if you have spent too much time with your with your romantic partner then you may take a back seat and you may say no i have not focus on my work i need to now balance it if you are focused too much on work you may think i have not given time to my family i need to detach myself from work or not be overloaded by work i need to look at something else if you have been working too hard and you think that you have not done anything for your spiritual elevation especially because ketu also denotes spirituality you may think that no 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 i need to be more focus on what is the larger purpose of life in my life and i need to also look at my spiritual elevation so this is also a time where you may plan out some spiritual visits wanting to go to spiritual places wanting to meet up with a guru wanting to find a guru or wanting to type with a guru also some people when mercury goes over ketu you may get detached from those areas of life which which are more logical which are more serving materialistically but you become more logical giving up detaching from those because they you feel that it is not serving the higher purpose of life the spirituality of life the peace in your life the harmony in your life and it is not bringing in the tranquility in your life so this is the time for you to be able to take those decisions which will detach you from those which are not serving you ketu detaches you from those things which don't serve you so mercury gives you the intellectual capacity the intellectual capability to think through
and see through the mist so that you are taking those decisions which are truly helpful for you for a spiritual elevation for the peace tranquility and the happiness in your life uh, rather than just chasing materialism rather than chasing something which is work related which is worldly but which is not spiritually elevating for you so when mercury goes over ketu it will detach you from some area but attach you into or attach you with something else but whatever mercury is detaching you from think through rather than getting misled through ketu's ability to detach you procrastinate and letting go of something which is truly serving you but taking thought through decision taking those decisions which are truly spiritual rather than being led into thinking that this is a spiritual decision which will truly serve me this will bring the peace or tranquility in my life so if you have been procrastinating so far if you have been lazy so far this is the time for you to take a break to think through and then take a decision maybe take a leap of faith and then go headlong into some project work hard or even to take a break and focus on those areas of life which have been truly rewarding or which can be truly rewarding but you have not done so far in that area so for now that we have seen mercury's transit over different planets in your horoscope will bring different denotations bring different manifestations see in what yogas or what doshas those planets are which houses they rule which houses they are placed in what sign they are placed in and right now in transit for different ascendants based on your ascendant which house mercury is going going over because that house is activated that sign is activated that planet is also activated so friend like this video share this video and if you're looking for a person consultation from me please reach out to me at the link given below till some other time some other video this is your friend astrology and guide fun signing off ciao